guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about Senegence's facial resurfacer. Now you might have seen me absolutely rave about this in my um, latest distributor unboxing package and honestly I am so happy that I bought this. Um, it was definitely a bit of a splurge because it is quite pricey but it's the best thing I've ever done for my skin. Um, I have filmed a couple of clips before this so I am going to quickly play them. So I don't any, normally film or um, put anything online when I haven't got my makeup on, but I'm trying out a new product today, starting today. Um, I'm going to be filming um, intermittent updates throughout the next few months, but today is the first day I'm trying Senegence's, um Solutions, which is their, and I'm trying their facial resurfacer if it focuses. Can you see that? Anyway, it's the facial resurfacer. It's a deep um, sort of face scrub, but it gets more than just the dead layer of skin on the top off. It gets further down um, the skin off. Now, I want to show you how bad my skin is. Now, it's actually okay at the moment because I'm due to start my period any day now. And for one week of each month, my skin tends to look a little bit better. But I have spots. Um, I have scarring. I have um, inflamed spots. I have uh, angry spots and cystic spots, have more scarring, I have massive pores, um, I can't believe I'm showing you this, and I have bumpy spots, so all this acne up here with lots of blackheads on my nose. So, I'm showing you this for one reason, I want to show you a before and an after of how this product makes my skin look. I'm hoping for amazing results. Maybe my expectations are a little bit too high, but honestly, any sort of improvement um, will make me pretty happy. So stay tuned. Today is the 25th of September, and I will update you in the coming month. Okay, so I've just finished. I put it on on a moist face and massaged it in in circles. It ended up becoming almost a foaming thing. Um, it definitely made my eyes sting. I didn't get it in my eyes. You can't get it in your eyes, but it did that make them sting a little bit, a bit like um, when you're cutting up onions. Um, it is quite red, but it doesn't hurt at all, and my face feels very smooth, like, well, I can't feel any bumps on my forehead, none at all. I know this one's raised, but it doesn't feel raised. I can feel a few here, I can feel a few on my chin, and I can feel a few on my cheek. But, what's amazing is that all my blackheads on my nose have been cleared out. Um, so positive from me, kind of feels like it's just a normal face scrub at the moment, um, but it's definitely got rid of all my black cards ra rather than just, a some, just some black heads which my face scrubs usually get rid of. So we'll see how it feels in next week and I'm going to use it twice a week so I'll get back to you soon. I'm just going to quickly take off my makeup using my normal method and then I'm going to use the facial exfoliator and show you how I use it. So as I'm sure you can tell, I have now um, taken off all my makeup. Now, I haven't dried my face, so it's still wet. This is what the facial resurfacer looks like, and inside, it's just a very liquidy, almost face mask. I don't want to tip it up too far, because it will fall out. Um, you don't need very much, you just apply it to your, um, so you take a little bit with your finger. Um, it looks a bit like this. And then you just apply it all over your face. I like to do it in little drops first. I'm making a right mess of this. And then I put it, try and get it everywhere. Um, remembering to go in circular motions. And then once I've got a relatively even wear everywhere, because you want to kind of let your skin soak in all the goodness. Um, now, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it has got quite big um, particles in it. So, then what I do is I individually go around using a few fingers and just concentrate on each area. Now, if you can tell, it is getting foamier. So it does kind of turn into a foam with the water, which I really like. 
Now, for some reason, it makes my eyes sting a little bit, so you may miss and see, end up seeing me um, kind of like squinting. But so I would just do a fair, because it is quite a um, harsh scrub, I don't press too hard, just a very gentle circular motion. So then I go onto my nose. And this is where this eye starts to sink for some reason. <laughs> Can you notice the difference between the two? It's foaming and kind of like settling. I tend to use this almost like a mask because I don't know if you can tell, but my forehead, now that I haven't done it for a while, has now started to almost set and dry and I like to let some of it soak in. So um, I quite like leaving it to do that a bit. I do um, tend to scrub a little bit harder on the areas with most concern on my skin. And then you just rinse it off with warm water. Um, again, if you rinse it off in circular motions, you're also continuing that trend of exfoliation. <laughs> so I have now been using it for almost two weeks. This is the fourth time I've used it. Um, as you can see, I'm still a little bit red, but my skin is so much smoother. Um, so I'm hoping it will work. So I'm going to give it a few more weeks and then I'm going to do a full review. Now it's been four, week, four weeks since I first bought the facial resurfacer and I'm absolutely blown away. Um, honestly, it's the best thing I've ever done for my skin and it's, it is a little pricey, I'm, I'm going to admit that, but it's the best investment I've ever done for my skin. I've never seen it looking so good. I mean, I don't know if you can tell and I definitely go through phases where my acne flares up and doesn't. Um, but I hardly have any spots. I have a few on my face here and I have a few on either side of my chin but none on this side and my skin, my forehead skin is amazing. It's blown me away. It's so smooth. It's amazing. Like I usually have like not acne, not inflamed acne but I usually have like bumpy acne and it's almost got rid of all of them. My nose blackheads have disappeared. Completely amazed. It's completely cleared out my pores. And the whiteheads on my chin have, have diminished a lot as well. So this is just amazing. I'm absolutely obsessed. So I would ju I'm just going to talk you through how quickly I use it. Um, I wet my face with my face wash. I, sorry. I apply my face wash and I, I leave my face wet after I've washed it off. I then apply a very thin layer of this. Now this is going to last me ages because you don't need very much at all. Um, it is quite a liquidy product. Um, and that's because it's been on my back, but it's a bit of a mess. But it does all fall down to the bottom in a very neat way. It's quite a liquidy product, so it will fall out if I tip it upside down. Um, and then, so I use literally, I, I dip my finger in and I just get a fingertip worth. Um, I put a dot on my forehead, a dot on either cheek, and a dot on my chin. And I then use circular motions with two fingers to um, rub it in. I start with the forehead like I do with my makeup. I do forehead, one cheek, two cheek, chin, uh, above upper lip, and then nose. Um, I tend to spend a little bit longer on my nose just because I had I did have some blackheads there and where I do have a few breakouts I spend a little bit longer there as well. I This doesn't say anywhere in the literature for this product but I tend to leave it on for a good couple of minutes then. So when you first put it on it's a, like a black, um, I did mention this in the clip of me applying it but it's like a black, um, like kind of like a black thick liquid um, and then when you start rubbing it in with the water it turns to almost a foam once you've let that sit on your face for a few minutes it gets harder and it becomes almost like a face mask now this has a lot of volcanic ash in it hence the color and it's coarser because the volcanic ash hasn't been ground to a powder and because of that um, I like to leave it in I don't know if it does any good but I quite like masks anyway so I like leave it in and in my head it's getting soaked into the skin which is better for me so that's a little bit of a tip from me. But honestly, if you have rough skin or, or um, suffer with acne yourself, this is my must-have product for you. <laughs> I would 100% recommend getting this. Um, and if you've got any questions about it, before, be sure to message me below. And if you want to order it, message me as well. So that is all for today's video. I hope you found it useful. I'll speak to you next time. Bye. <laughs>
feel like I spoke really fast through that, but hopefully it makes sense. 